Welcome back to the Kickback Podcast. My name is Joan. I'm here with Okeke. What up? We're bringing you back episode 29. This is a very, very fast episode that we decided to do because I feel like it was an important topic to cover and it would be very interesting to talk about. Um, but there is going to be another episode coming out this week. So, two in one. Yes, sir. Two in motherfucking one, bro. Bro, so well, let's go ahead and get into it type stuff, man. So, how did you feel about it? I mean, I'm, not sure, I'm sure you see. I didn't watch the Oscars. I didn't watch it either. But, but if you I don't know what we're clip. talking about, we're going to be talking about the Will Smith and Chris Rock incident that happened on the Oscars. Uh, when was that? The On March 27th, 2022. March 27th, 2022. Shall go down in history in the Oscars. Bro, the slap... Wait, what did they say? The slap that was heard around the world, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what? The slap that was heard around the world, bro. And of course, Imagine. we're drinking a Dr. Pepper. Sponsor me, Dr. Pepper. Am I drinking a Dr. Pepper, though? <sighs> yeah. He's Man. drinking Dr. Pepper. I ain't drinking it. When you're drinking on the podcast, you're drinking Dr. Pepper. All the time. All the time. But if you don't know what happened on the 27th of March on the Oscars, Will Smith smacked the shit out of Chris Rock. Smacked the living dog shit out of him, bro. In front of millions and millions of people. Oh, that's a- In front of the entire world. Dude. That's insane. Hon- honestly, though, I'm not going to lie. I'm standing firm with this, bro. I side with uh, Will Smith. He stands with Will Smith? I stand with Will Smith. I definitely do. If you guys haven't seen the video, we'll make sure to include it right now. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! (laughs) (laughs) He is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, you saw the video, got the shit smacked out of him. Dude. Dude, nah, I, I still, I still, I still side with Chris Rock, or not Chris fucking Rock. Nah, I don't side with Chris Rock, bro. I side with Will Smith only because it's like, I just feel like sometimes me as a jokester, like I always fucking joke a lot, but I do know where is that that line is where you you're not supposed to cross it. Yeah. Or, um, like you know, a lot of people always used to tell me like, nigga, I play too much, but like, like so, I that's where I know like there's that line that you shouldn't cross. And it's like, I get it. I get it's comedian. Like, I get what you're saying. You know, there's some things that you don't have to be joked. But I feel like Chris Rock, it looked like he didn't know what he did. He was like, what did I do? No, nah, he I, knew exactly what I he did. I feel like he, I don't know. <laughs> he knew exactly what he did. I honestly didn't know she was, she was going through something like that. I didn't know either. But, like, someone with a bald head, like, I mean, I was contemplating on going bald. But it wasn't, wasn't anything serious. So, if you didn't know, she... Jada Pickett Smith has a is it a disorder? I don't know what it's. A, is. She's going it's through something her. right now in her health, and it's making her lose a lot of hair. And Chris Rock made a joke about it, saying "GI Jane." If you don't know what GI Jane is, it's a movie. It's, it's from Snake from Eyes. the military. It's not from Snake Eyes. Name? That's GI Joe, bro. So what the hell is GI Jane? GI Jane is a separate movie about a woman who goes into um, into the military. Mm-hmm. And they treat her like shit because she's a woman. And she's bald? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. 
What she's, the fuck? She's like, well, I'm going to be like one of you guys. No wonder that fucking joke wasn't even funny, bro. What the fuck is G.I. Jane? Everyone laughed, though. Everyone laughed it off until Jaden... Jada Pick even Will laughed, bro. But, yeah. You gotta admit, Will laughed at the joke. Did Jada laugh? No, she went like this. She went, and I was I don't so know only her, her, only her. Like I feel like only she didn't find it funny. Right. Everybody else laughed, and then she just didn't. Like everyone got the joke except for her, bro. And I get like don't laugh at people's insecurities, but it's like. I don't know, like you know what's going on. I'm not. I'm not saying like it's okay to make fun of somebody like that, but it's like, you know, it didn't mean you harm. All right, there was so many other people in there, bro. Why did he have to go straight for her like that, bro? There's Be- so many other people that could have been joked about. Because she's again, you joke around your friends. You, you know, they is not friends, bro. They at least have an acquaintance together. So like, he feel comfortable to joke around her. Even for that, he he, he felt comfortable to tell a joke about her. Nah, bullies feel comfortable telling jokes about other people. Mm, you said that pretty well, too. I didn't think about it like that. But you think he was trying to bully her? Nigga, yeah, I don't fucking know. But at the end of the day... I really don't think he was trying to cause any harm. I feel like he just tried he to say a joke. Of course, he not any harm, but the harm was done. Which is why the other harm was done. Yeah, but that, that that's not a good point. That is a very good no, point. No, it's not. It's a very good point. Because, put, because, put yourself it, because at that point, motion. anybody could say, oh, I'm hurt. And now... It, yeah. Yeah. There could be people some do that exactly, but it doesn't mean exactly. It, people are get hurt over the smallest thing sometimes. Yes, here it was a bigger thing, but in that case, getting hurt, you can get hurt for anything. Okay. People get. I'm telling you, a lot of people are soft, and I'm not saying Jada is small, soft or anything. It's just hey, keep her name out your fucking mouth, bro. No, <laughs> if Will had come to me like that, dude, I love Will Smith. I love his freaking movies, but. If someone, even if it wasn't good, if someone comes to me and smacks the shit out of me like that, I don't think I could have, like, maintained my composure the way Chris Rock did. You're going to see red? Red? Like, you'd see red type shit? What do you mean? Like, you'd get mad? Like, super angry? I I, I don't know about super angry. I feel like I would uh, humiliate them the way they humiliated me. So I'd be like, no, 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 come back. Uh, Smack a max. Yeah, there's, there's going to be some ass. Because you, really you really think it's a valid excuse Okay, he said a joke about my wife, so I'm gonna go up to about a stage. my wife's alopecia. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. Not just. A joke I honestly didn't about even my, know about about that. my wife's disease, but he knew about that, which makes it even fucking worse. Yeah, like that's horrible. I didn't mean to say fucking, but I got passionate. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, but still, like, you know what they say? He he, he literally could have said, "Hey, stop." Yeah, keep. And he could have literally said, "Keep my wife's name out your motherfucking mouth." From there, before even slapping him, he would have been, "Oh shit, my yeah. bad." Hey, no, for real, my bad. I didn't mean it. There definitely was some 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 uh, steps that were missed, skipped by a lot. But um, I don't know. I, I still they, you've heard of it, keep your hands to yourself. Violence is never the answer. But also here, don't say things that you wouldn't want to be said to you. It's a joke. Comedic stand-up told by a comedian on a stand-up stage with a microphone. You know. It, the, the, the joke didn't come off as good. We get it. People get booed off stage. But he decided to go up on the stage and smack the shit out of him in front of the entire world. I don't think that's pretty cool either. They, he, he literally could have... It could have been the night he really made fun of her hair and everybody would have said it jada could have gone home and said he really said that shit about me and everyone would have gone to him it would have been so much easier like that less drama but now there's two factors to it meaning now now this could be a whole other topic bro because it's like like do comedians deserve to get the shit smacked out of them no no one gets no one deserves to get the shit smacked no no no, there are some no one there are some fuckers who deserve to get smacked the shit i guess deserve to get get the shit smacked out of me sometimes bro but like you know i don't i'm a good kid everybody deserves to be get the shit slapped out of them at least once in your life you know you know you but even in a month but even like so like you know you're like damn no i did deserve that one i feel like even after that chris was like what the fuck what did i do I didn't see anything wrong with what I did. And then I guess now, I don't know. Bro. Because his reaction, that like his initial reaction to the smack was like, what the fuck? And why did this just happen? Mm-hmm. Just randomly. 
Will Smith just came up to me and smacked the shit out of me. Like, he said that to process it himself. Not really to, like, tell everybody. He's like, what the fuck? Right. Comedians do, like, freaking... Because in, in that case, you know, no that one's going to tell a joke. It's the same thing. Like, how, oh, it's crazy how we were talking about Family Guy before that at Chili's yesterday. How, like, people were canceling it because they were saying shit. Yeah. But even so, like, there, you know you're crossing the line. But that's their thing. That they want to cross those lines to freaking... True. They didn't want to cross those lines because they ended up taking all those shits off air, bro. Exactly. Because they're, they're not crossed, even funny anymore. Exactly. Because you're not... Now you're like, okay, now you're just, like... Picking on people, like, purposely. They're trying to hurt people. By saying some, like, really cool... Like, really messed up shit, you know? Right. Gross shit. Family and here, I don't think that... I don't think that was his intention here. I don't think he was there to, like... Cause mayhem. Like, family guy. <laughs> family guy was on some shit, though. Was. Not no more. They're not funny at all. I hope their shit gets canceled. Completely. Dang. South Park's really the funniest one. <laughs> we were saying that too. South Park over everything. Dude, you think South Park's gonna make a, a joke about this? They have to. Oh, they've got to. They have to. And they've got to. Everybody's making jokes right now about Will Smith. Yeah, really. we've seen so many memes on Twitter already. If you if, if you've been aware, you've seen the memes everywhere. What um what were you about to say though? About you were like, you were like, and then I don't memes know. Memes come fuck. I have no idea. Oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but um I stand with I okay, look at I, I think it's like this. Hmm. I respect because I would be mad too. If you made fun of my wife like that, I would be mad too, but I wouldn't take it out in that uncivilized. What would you way. have done differently? Type stuff like not cause a scene like that. And like who am I to be able to smack the shit out of you? You know? And I get it, you could say, Who are you to talk about my wife? I'm a comedian on a stage in front of everybody here. I'm here to tell jokes. And yeah, sometimes I do pick on people. That's what comedians do. Yeah. And, he, and even beforehand, he had picked on somebody else. It wasn't just like, why Jada? No, he picked on somebody before him. They, he literally said, if because there was like a couple or something. And they were like, um, oh, if you win, you're still not going to win because you're going to go home with her, this and that, because she's going to be mad that she didn't win kind of like type shit. You know, and he was like, dang, yeah, that's true, this and that. You know, they laughed it off because they know it's a joke. You think this is going to be brought up in the in the red table or whatever? Yeah. Like, like what's that shit called that JW hosting? The red table? No. That's what the red that's table? What I think so. I don't know. I don't know what the I don't watch table, it but... with her entanglements. Hey, bro, come on, bro. You gotta, <laughs> everybody's coming for Jada now, bro. See, <laughs> nah, bro. This, this is exactly why Will slapped the shit out of him, bro. People be joking too much, bro. <laughs> But it's <laughs> people will be joking too much, but it's a joke. At the end of the day, it's a joke. Yeah. But like you said, like it got overdone, bro. I did hear something else too, bro. What's Comedy up? is like a souffle, bro. Huh? Comedy is like a souffle and it gets overdone. When it gets overdone, it crashes. Oh yeah. So when fucking that literally just happened. The comedian. I over, really don't the think comedian that was overdone. overdid it, bro. I really don't think it was overdone. Bro, how was that not overdone? He's talking about someone's disease in front of millions, as if it's a joke. That's not a joke to her. She's losing her fucking like. I mean, I don't know. He. Someone one would say it's just hair. You know what I'm saying? But that's a major change to you. I know. I I know what he said was fucked up. Like. E that one you know you you were like everyone laughed or they were like wait right i don't know about that i mean i feel like that was forced laughter there's too there's a lot of times where people that's like no one expected will to go up there like that too huh Mm-mm. Hey, if laughter. you're if you're that close to someone's face I, I i the only thing i expected from chris rock was to just weave that's what i was thinking too just i'm like weave, you like. see an angry person bro will smith is big will Smith's pretty you see will smith coming at you Mad as shit. What are you? Hey, no, he's <laughs> like the shit out of you, bro. I'm definitely weaving up, bro. No, weave. Come back. Ah. Give it nice, nice, slap nice box slip. it. <laughs> nice, bro. Does, he slapped the shit out of him, bro. Like that, especially the picture too. I think I feel. I don't know, bro. Yeah, what well, he's. Was, I feel like that's more disrespectful. I feel like they could have handled it so much simpler. Talked yeah. about it. Take it to the park. They have lot. a red table where they talk about problems, and here they chose just to fucking fight somebody. 
Because yeah. think about it. Think if it wasn't Chris Rock and they had said the same shit. You think he would have done the same thing? Say that again. Think if so. Think if it was another another comedian. Mm-hmm. You think he would have done the same shit? What would the comedian joke about? If, let's just say another comedian said the same exact joke about, or like picked on uh, Jada in that kind of way. You think he would have gone up there Jada and smacked him too? Jada or Chris Rock's wife? What? Like, because you're saying if like, the think joke a, would be put on? No, 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 no. This is the same joke on Jada, just a different comedian. Do you, you think get slapped too? What? You think Will Smith will smack the shit out of him too? Hell yeah! What? Really? Yeah. Hmm. Feel even if it was Joe Rogan, like I don't care how many crazy kicks Joe Rogan's gonna do, he's gonna slap him. He just put on for his wife. Like you really think he would smack the shit out of Joe Rogan? Hell yeah! Joe Rogan's like five three. That's not the point. No, no, that's not no. Like you really think he would go up and do it? Yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Like what? Joe Rogan and Chris Rock are on the same standpoint in terms of being comedians. Like, I think they're even, what was it? I think they even went on like shows and shit together. Like when they first started, Mm -hmm. like they would all bring each other up there. So absolutely, he would smack the shit out of them. And what if, what if they were to attack back? Who's in the wrong now? Everyone's still in the wrong. Right? Everyone's Everyone's still in the wrong. I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, yeah, exactly. I'm not saying. That's that's the thing. Nobody won in this situation. That's yeah. what I think. No I feel like won. everybody went home a loser, who, who and it sucks because like it could have been handled differently. Right. Me, I think I think parking lot would have been better rather than just right. I feel like it would have been more interesting too. Yeah. No cap. Hey, but pay per view type shit. Trailer. You know what the fuck? Trailer. Hey. Hey, celebrity. Matches. You hear freaking Jake Paul trying to like, come on? Yeah, I don't want to talk about that, <laughs> bro. That's so dumb. I. I've, dude, but honestly, I won't even be surprised if Jake Paul somehow, some way makes it happen because this was, he's been surprising me left and right. This food does shit that I don't even know how it's possible sometimes. Mm. They just had a freaking party with uh, Jeff Bezos Who? on a yacht. Who? Logan and Jake Paul, the richest yeah. man in the world, basically. Second? I wonder what it's like to party with Jeff Bezos. With Jeff Bezos on a private yacht. Wait, they recorded and all that shit? I feel like they did, but they haven't published it yet. They posted it on the story. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Would you rather party with Jeff Bezos or Mark Zuckerberg? Jeff Bezos. Really? I've heard Mark Zuckerberg's kind of weird. Yeah. I was... don't know him. I don't want to. Mark, I I love you, dog. I love. Why well, don't you use Facebook? <laughs> Me neither. Well, I mean, Instagram, use Instagram, uh, and Instagram's all that, bro. Instagram's I. I don't. Know. Instagram's pretty solid. But once they buy TikTok, I'm not gonna be surprised if Facebook buy TikTok. Me neither. Meta. Mm-hmm. Go by, going back to uh, oh even Jaden uh, tweeted about it you see that oh yeah he said that's how we do it and I fucking I fucks with that I don't think violence is the answer I believe I don't I believe it could have been handled differently I believe we have we have words and we also have you know our actions type stuff and I feel like everyone can learn from this situation as well we comedians be careful with what you say yeah, like I get it. There's jokes, and I love jokes. Like, and I'm, I, it's okay. I get, I get that sometimes you pick on people. It's part of the joke, but there needs to be one, one, be able to take a joke, and two, there's things that you shouldn't be joking about, or be informed of what you're joking about. Hmm. It's like if I, it's like if uh, I don't know. I don't. I had an analogy, an an analogy. You, analogy, in my you mind. lost it. Lost it. I feel. That if you're a comedian mm-hmm. and you're gonna be making them type of jokes, you gotta know how to squabble, bro. Yeah, you gotta know. How no, to no, that's, that's the only actually. Thing. I feel like that's so true. <clears throat> I've thought about that too. I've seen on TikTok like all the like hecklers and stuff yeah. like that. I'm like, dude, I feel like comedians, they're very powerful when they're on stage. Oh yeah, they can say what they can Word control is, a crowd. Right, they can have the whole crowd bully you. But I've seen it happen too. Exactly, you know, happen. and it's it's yeah, it's cool, but. I feel like afterwards you got to be able to like defend you gotta know yourself. How to do something. Everyone, I feel like every, not even comedians. I feel like everyone should know how to defend themselves at least a little bit to a certain extent. Yeah, that's why people freaking everybody carries guns now. They don't want to freaking work on themselves for real. And just learn a one two at least, like a, a simple jab cross. You're right, showing. like come on, bro. Take you just a, gotta die. Take a self defense class at least at least once. Dude, just a session. One, a cool one, you know. Let it know how it is before you purchase bullets. 
there's so many different ways to handle shit. And I'm not like one that's like, oh, I'm like, no violence, peace <laughs> in the world, dove type shit. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm the guy that's like, if there's a way to get out of a fight, I'm going to choose that way. And it's happened to me, but we've talked about it in the podcast before. It's, I just feel like reality, not reality speaking, because there's all of it's, it's, there's certain realities type shit, bro. But like, Will did his shit, bro. Will did. His shit. I feel like it made it such an awkward night afterwards, dude. Was it? I didn't watch it, so I didn't like. Know it I, I didn't watch it either, but I, I saw that Chris Rock did um, carry on like nothing happened, mm-hmm. and he's but like still even closing and stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it was an elephant in the room. Exactly. But I mean, I mean, it's all it's all dead. I feel like it's all dead type stuff. Like they still carried on, mm-hmm. so it wasn't really. The only like that was the minor thing. Like, bro got slapped. That's it. It's crazy how I haven't heard that much about the Oscars until now. Oh yeah, crazy, huh? In yeah, that that also brings up something because I when they, I first watched it, I thought it was fake. Me really too. Did. No, I was like that. That it looked fake. I thought he had the little. He did a little trick where they, me they too. did that and slapped him. I was like, wait a minute. That nigga had his hands down there. You know what I'm saying? He literally just slapped him. So I was like... Because, like, you know the feeling when you get smacked or punched. Like... Oh, yeah. You don't... Like, you go... Like, you get hit and you go into your fight or flight. Right. And there, he just stood there. Fuck no. I would have done something else. I would have either, like, been angry or, like, hey. Damn. But that also sucks, bro. Because even at that at that point, he still had to keep it professional. Would you have been able to keep it professional, bro? Because I know for I'm not keeping it professional. So props, props to Chris Rock on that part. I feel like I could. I, I feel like I would be able to keep it professional, but it take a lot in me to do it. Damn, it probably took a lot in him. Yeah, no. Damn, I'm starting to. I'm not <laughs> siding Woo! with Chris Rock. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Bring him in here. Woo! No, he just did that. Hello, people. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> the hell with it if you guys haven't seen RDC World's video I highly ju- suggest that you guys go check it out RDC World I'm gonna leave that shit in the link oh, down yeah. below absolutely watch that shit hilarious bro. oh my god they were so fast with it so fast with it we literally bro. it happened and then like a couple minutes afterwards they made a whole video about the whole situation and it was hilarious bro they're notorious for that bro just being quick being fucking efficient just being on their shit bro RDC World bro I'm just bro imagine we have them on a podcast one day one day. That'd be freaking amazing. Soon, brother. I'm speaking all these Inshallah. worlds into existence. Manifestation at its finest. And you're seeing it here first. Yes, sir. I already see where going to be. My boy, Mark, nigga. Banson's going to be right here. Banson! Right here, bro. Or wait, Mark should be right there. Yeah, he can sit right here. You know what I'm saying? Right next to me. Got Banson on this one, man. Perfect. Ah. Uh, perfect. Damn, bro. What do you think made. Okay, well, not bes- not besides the obvious answer. What do you think? What? what do you think made Will like get up? Cause he was sitting at first. Nah, I know exactly what made him get up, bro. Cause the way, cause everyone's talking about how he laughed, you know, and he just pro- like that was that was his way of processing processing it. But I just feel like over these past like like um like these these past like events, bro, like from the entanglement to to now. Like, he's always been getting slandered for because of Jada's actions type stuff. And now that's... Oh, so is Jada the problem? That's good. <laughs> is she? Dang, I got your ass thinking now. <laughs> nah. I was nah. joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe she fucking is, bro. Because she keep comparing that nigga she, to, uh, to La Toxica, Tupac, huh? Why she keep comparing him to Tupac, bro? That is so fucked up. Do you know that? Did she compare him to Tupac again? Not again. I was about but to say. Like, I saw that on tw- on Twitter though. Like that's 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 how are you getting compared to someone that's been dead for like twenty years, bro. That's I don't know, man. Hmm. You know like what? I get it. It's a family. Everyone has their own things, and I can't speak for that because you know it's, it's your family and this and that, but. I, it's much different when you're married than being single. Because like, if you're if you're in a relationship with somebody and they're toxic, what do you do? Yeah, I'm cutting it. Yeah. Exactly, cutting. but now it's even harder because you know it's Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. I feel 
What if, would it, I'm not trying to, no, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. I don't want to like say something bad into existence like that. I don't want to wish upon someone's downfall. True. Okay. If it's that about that, keep the energy pure. I like that. I respect that, bro. Yeah, bro. I like, I, I don't agree with what you did, but I'm not going to be your enemy either. You know what I mean? Right. Yo, we, well, I'm on your fucking side, bro. Don't you trip. Well, I still love you, man. You Just keep your hands fan. to yourself. Nah, bro. Hey, if someone's talking shit about your wife like that, about her alopecia, bro. No. Go ahead and smack them. No, ahead, keep your hands to yourself, and then you talk about it like civilized men. You guys are like what? They're like 50 years old already. Men this fight. That's little kid shit, dude. I'm sorry. Little kid shit, bro? I, I think so. I, I think fighting like that is little kid shit. If you're going to fight about something, I think... Bro, that is has about to be the pride in, of his wife, bro. But not in front of the whole world either, though. I feel like... So is it that the fact that they fought in front of the whole world, was that what makes a kid... I feel like I feel like nobody should be smacked in front of the entire world, like I feel that. Like no one should be joked in front of the entire world about their disease. I feel like, like I feel like if they had said something, literally everybody would have just laughed it, laughed and then just moved on with their day. They wouldn't even have like come back to the joke. I feel like that whole this whole thing, like it could have been like literally just moved upon. Like Chris was literally gonna go on with the show until Will got up. He did go on with the show though. No? Mm hmm. But like he would like literally, he said the joke, and then like he start, he continued, and he was like, "What? Like I, I didn't do anything. I was joking." And then he saw Will come up. He's like, "Oh, now it's serious." He started laughing because he was a little scared. Bam! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. This guy, she's fucking whacked. <laughs> Everybody hates Chris, bro. And bro, the that was another freaking mean. They and they, they even did the one with the Will Smith. <laughs> You're moving with your auntie and uncle Bella. <laughs> got one little fun. Your mom got scared. Oh my god, the, the Twitter memes on this whole thing is are hilarious. You guys are so fast, so clever, but jeez, I had deleted Twitter, right? But I just like go on every once in a while on my uh, computer. Yeah, on my computer, bro. Like, every time I just forget how funny that shit was, bro. Hey, if you go on your computer, if you go on Twitter on your computer, you're not weird. All right, I feel like it should be normalized more. Wait, that's not a normal thing? It's not. You know that? A lot of people don't use Twitter on their computer. They find it weird. What the fuck? I know a lot of people that do it, but it's because they're more like computer people, right? Mm -hmm. But I feel like going on your Twitter on your computer is pretty normal, right? It should be. It should be, bro. I don't have enough fucking storage on this thing, bro. <laughs> like, Twitter gotta go. Like, yeah, you gotta use the Safari. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got to use Safari. Like, <laughs> like what? No, but if I, if I click on like a Twitter link, it's Safari. It's going to be like, you must download the app to use. And I always press cancel. Yep. It always gives me. And then it still takes you to the fucking cancel. app store. Right. And I'm like, what? Back out, back out, back out. And I back still it up, press back cancel. It up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Jeez. I can't wait to see the TikToks on this. Not just like, not just the same incident, like playing over, like same clip over and over and over again. But like people making stuff out of it. Mm. I already made like, one out of it. It's doing you, pretty good, by the way, too. You did? I did make one. I haven't seen it. I haven't I been on my it? phone all day. Shit, don't even trip, bro. We can watch it after. I will watch it afterwards. Hell yeah. Should I play it in the video? Hell yeah, we can play it in the video. All right, all right. All right. Watching. Watching. I'll play it like right here. All right, bet. Tell me when to laugh, okay? Just laugh, people. No. <laughs> 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 Laughter. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious, dude. Oh my god. Nah, bro. It was actually pretty funny. But, um, yeah. What else are. We, do you have anything else you want to say? I'm, I'm trying to think of something that I could say about the whole Will Smith thing. Mm, bro, my, my stance is always the same, man. Like, I just, like, how. Like, especially with everything going on, I don't. <laughs> You think the stress just like took over him? It definitely took hey, over that, him. That's the way, that was his. Like so you think his? Talking about so you think his outlet? Him. His outlet to stress was smacking the shit out of somebody. I know he you think that. Really you think violence is the outlet? Is the outlet to stress now? Violence is always the outlet to stress. Violence is the outlet to stress. Um, it's one of it. That's not a good one thing. outlet to stress. That's yeah. pretty toxic, actually. That's not toxic at all. Bro. Choosing violence as an outlet for your stress is. There's so many other ways you can do. You can meditate. Yeah, you can, that's a you form can of draw. meditation. Violence. Yeah, it is, bro. I'm telling you. 
it's I mean that's why there's combat sports and all that. Yeah, bro. but that's it's, a sport that you, they know about discipline there. That's what yeah, they're so teaching. They're discipline. Yeah, but that's at that point that's not violence. It's just freaking training. True. That's just martial arts. <laughs> violence is just okay, yeah. fighting. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then again, I don't. I got. It, it's ah. an outlet, bro. Like. But like, I get why he would want to smack the shit out of somebody. I would have smacked the shit out of him, too. But I know I, w- I, f- I know that there's other way. I don't know, dude. I've, I've been raised with don't fight unless you absolutely have to. I feel like here he didn't absolutely have to fight. I feel like here he could have. A- but he did, and now he's getting charged with. Maybe assault. No, I don't I, think he's going to get no, assault. I don't think he, uh, he said, I think he said that he didn't want to press he didn't charges. He want to, and as he should, bro. Because why the fuck would you? Mm-hmm. It was, he didn't like my joke. If it was for something like, like, okay, here, like, I get why he would get mad. But if it was someone were to get mad over a stupid joke and then they came up and smacked out of you, like, uh, not, like, here, like, it was a stupid joke, like, and then, like, yeah, it was dumb, right? And, but like if it was just some like little dumb joke and someone got mad about it, you know, in that in that case I'll tell them. In that case, they're in the shit, wrong. Yeah, it's very interesting when stuff like this happens in the world because it can really change how things go. Like it can really be bigger bigger than just like a little smack. It's always could lead up like white. a butterfly effect type thing. It might lead to so many other things in the world. Mm-hmm. Imagine actors just start like brawling it out afterwards. Like I know, I know the comedians. I know the comedians are about a band together type shit. Be like, let us fucking joke around about what we want to joke around with, like with no fucking consequences. But everything got consequences to it, which is what we saw. That's why you got. I don't know, man. At, at the end of the, uh, I don't know. Jokes are jokes, and I get that you can joke about fucked up shit, and you're like, yeah, that's not cool. But you got to be able to take a joke too. And I know that it wasn't the most clever joke. Yeah, if you're like, if you're gonna joke about my fucking disease, at least make me laugh about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you could have been saying like, like, you, I like swear. you're the star of the show because you're bald or something. I don't know. And I, honestly, I feel like if she had played it off, like, like, like laughed and like, you know, and like been like a sarcastic laugh almost. Or like, yeah, even like that. If she played it off like that, I feel like people even would have been like, yeah, she gets like, she she's okay, like. So you wanted her to fake how she felt? No, I didn't want her to fake how how she felt. Because she literally showed exactly how she felt type stuff. And I got to respect that for someone Mm -hmm. because, you know, if you don't like something, be vocal. Well, yeah, express it. You're vocal. Yeah. And so I don't think violence is an expression. I don't think it should be expressed like that. Violence should be used when violence should be used. You know when violence should be used. Violence should be used when it's in a sanctioned place like civil people. Civil people. Not no like little run up smack and then walk away. Yeah, sucker punches are bitches. That was a sucker punch. I don't like that. Okay, Bro, sucker now, pu- okay. That was right, a sucker that, punch. That's that, a bitch move. That's see now because I didn't see it as a sucker punch. Like I'm telling you, you don't go up to somebody, smack the shit out of them, and then walk away. That I feel like that's one of the most humiliating things in the world compared to a joke that everyone understands as a joke, but that one person. And I get it. It's a harmful joke. But at the end of the day, it's a joke. And it's, it wasn't meant to, like, hurt somebody. So what happened? But you got hurt anyways. He got bitched. That's what happened. He got bitched. That's Chris why. Chris Rock got bitched. <laughs> I don't think he think deserved to get up. bitched like that. <laughs> I think, me, I think he did, bro. Like, fuck that. You're not about to be embarrass me in front of millions. Now I'm embarrassed you in front of millions. It could, but it's part of the joke. It's like, the jokes are supposed to be embarrassing. There's literally a whole thing called roasts. Because they're jokes. And people get mad. They, is the they, Oscars a roast session? He said a joke. Is the Oscars a roast session? It could be. For Should a comedian. Be. Comedians have different types of com- comedy. She just didn't like his comedy. So out of her not liking his comedy, he got smacked. I don't think that's fair. What you, do what you think should have happened? I feel like... Literally, he, <laughs> I'm telling you, Will Smith literally could have just been like, Hey, Stop. Or like that one wasn't funny. Heck, heckled it. So then he would have gotten the clue like, oh shit, my bad, bro. Hey, I didn't. What are you just like? Shut your bitch ass up, like. 
he could have taken like something like that. He could have taken. He could have taken like that, and that's fair, you know. It's your opinion. You still don't like what I said. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I'm sorry. Really, I you can have your opinion, but I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I hope we could be friends. I feel like I still. There was a lot of level skipped. Yeah, there was a lot of level fucking skipped. But why was there a lot of levels skipped? That's man? the real question. No one, no one's talking about why there's many levels you skipped, th- man. Jada just. I don't think she signaled him over there, bro. Maybe he was just fucking fed up. They were getting pressed the button. What was like? I am robot or whatever. Fucking. You know, I never watched that movie. You haven't watched I Robot? It's a good one. It's a, it's very interesting. I remember when Will was uh, coming up, and a lot of his movies like just ended up with him like saving the world by becoming like a sacrifice or something. So I just never watched him. I think so my brother hated. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but that's so. I'm legend. <laughs> I am. They got the cure. Like, didn't he? Didn't he just like run into like the thing and like exploded and then? No, he I was seen, trapped in like this like glass thing. Right. He and he, he was trapped and then like it exploded. And he died. Yeah. But there's I am Legend two coming out. Is there? Yeah. Fuck. Damn. No. Nah, see, that's the thing, man. Now that this happened to Will. Uh-huh. And now that this like like and now I know there's consequences. The consequence to Chris telling that joke was that he got his shit slapped. Now the reason yeah, that I don't he, think it should be a consequence, but sure. It was at the end of the day, that was the consequence. That was the result of what happened. Because you know? I'm telling you, in this case, comedians are not gonna want to tell jokes for shit. They're gonna be like, you know what? And and people have said it before. If you're gonna come and you're gonna sit through my jokes and you're not gonna get offended to one of them or something, mm-hmm. and people can say the same argument like. Maybe you shouldn't just say offensive shit. You gotta admit, some offensive shit can sometimes be funny. Should have been said. Oh yeah, Maybe absolutely, not. bro. But you know, there's some funny stuff. I think that's gonna give it a little more. I like think now it's gonna give it like a little more level of respect type stuff because now you're going up there with the aspect of like I don't give a fuck. Like I'm still mm-hmm. gonna tell the joke type stuff. Yeah. But going back to like the consequences, uh, like the consequences of Will's actions, because I know he is he like. How how many of these movies are going to be affected, you know? Like, the entertainment-wise. Like, I mean, he was a part of everything. He's a big name. Yeah. Since Fresh Prince, bro, he's a big name guy. Think you know? about the consequence. Imagine if, if Chris Rock had been like, you know what? I'm going to sue. He, or imagine if Chris Rock fought back. All of a sudden, this fool was like martial arts and beats the shit out of Will Smith. Then I would, I, I'd be a happy, I'd ha- be a happy spectator. Oh, oh, <laughs> exactly. I'd be a happy Bro, fucking spectator. If, the, if there had been a huge fight, the Oscars would have been amazing. Dude. Just our, oh, I think it would have been cut though, Loki. I mean, that one wasn't cut. That was, that was actually, spo- that was, um, that was the uncensored version. That we was in watching. Australia though. So. They, they censored it here in, in the yeah. United States, but in Australia it was played. Yeah. So like. If a huge fight broke out, only Australia would be fucking watching it. Fucking Australians, my. These guys are insane. Aye. And you're they're, crazy they're, ass animals. They're already in tomorrow, dog. They're a day ahead. Oh, yeah, bro. I remember how, how, how many hours was it? 18 hours ahead, bro? No. Yeah. I think it was nine. Wait, they're eight. 18 hours? It was eight. Eight, yeah. It was nine hours ahead. Or wait, eight, yeah, eight hours ahead, bro. It was crazy because, like, I felt like I was in the future. <laughs> it's weird. And and I was in the future. I was eight hours ahead. Like, time zones are trippy. Like, damn, bitch. Your your end is your day is just ending. I'm just getting started on tomorrow. Fuck. This guy. Bro, the slap that was heard around the world, bro. Why a smack? Bro, because slaps are way more disrespectful than getting knocked out. Absolutely. That shit stings. What if he had, what if he did something different? Like, what if he didn't smack him? What if he pants him? What if he pants him? What if he pants him? <laughs> what if he just, no. Oh, what if he just uh, solid flick to the Ooh, forehead? I do that shit to my nephew. <clears throat> you know? He just sunned him. I mean, he sunned, he, fuck. He sunned him. He sunned him. No, he didn't sun him. He bitched, bitched him. him. You see? I don't think he deserved that <laughs> bitching, bro. <laughs> to get sunned. Of all yeah. people. Why but, Chris Rock? Bro, Marty. Da, 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 sir. Come on, man. 
I wonder what Ja Rule thinks of this. Huh? It don't matter. <laughs> I don't know what you said. That's why. Ja Rule from, uh, it's a Dave Chappelle joke. Oh, I don't watch Dave Chappelle. I don't think I've ever seen a Dave Chappelle show, actually. I'm going to watch him. Chappelle show? You never seen none of that? Mm-mm, I haven't. You have to watch him, bro. In terms of comedians, bro, he was the one that will make you laugh every single time. And not only will he make you laugh, but he'll make you learn something through your laughter, bro. It's mm. poetic when he goes up there. It really mm. is. I'm going to watch him. So when I'm they try to cancel him, they were doing the stupidest thing ever. And you've seen, you've seen how people get canceled fast and people get hurt for like no reason sometimes. Right. Joe Rogan was about to, people were going after Joe Rogan. That's Joe Rogan, dog. Ain't no way you going after Joe Rogan. I stood with Joe Rogan on that one. Fuck y'all. Hmm. I stood with Joe Rogan and his short ass. Freaking hey, get me on your podcast, man. Bro, Joe I will. Rogan, I'm trying to smoke with you, bro. Same. I'll do too. What if you get him to smoke here? Just comes through. <laughs> He's like, what's up, fuckers? Bah, shotgun fucking kick. He's <laughs> like, so, have you had DMT yet? And I was like, what? Come on, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Give it Bro what is Joe Rogan Without psychedelics really I don't know Every time he, go, he goes on He's always talking about it At least once But I feel like That's part of his uh, Podcast now Like it's Something what? that They're gonna talk about At least once Oh yeah it's, Yeah I don't know how He always brings in DMT into the Conversation You could be talking about Like Some post traumatic thing And he'll be like Yeah have you ever Had DMT It's like that guy Joe, man. That guy Joe, man. I'm I'm telling you, but what happened? I keep looking at the freaking uh, what's it called? The date. I always forget that it's a, on the 27th. What, on the 27th, which was actually yesterday. Yesterday. Today. Damn, time's already going. going We're on by. the 27th of March. What 27th the fuck? Of March, bro. Whose birthday is it today? I feel like it's someone's birthday. Oh, today was my manager's birthday. Happy birthday, Melissa. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> you asked whose birthday it was I was like hey it's her birthday No I was just being snobby I was being snobby Don't trip Someone smack him for Will <laughs> Nah I'm weaving Fuck out Bro, of Wait nah that was first instinct Damn that's what I would do in real life I gotta face it If Will came and he was about to smack me I'd curl up Fuck he really just stood there like that, seeing Will Smith angry as shit come up like that. Shit. I wish there was multiple angles so we could see the full thing. I would make so many edits. Like, <laughs> I want to see Will Smith's face as he came up. Was he smiling? And then it's like... <laughs> bah! Would it would it make it worse if you Will yeah. Smith... <laughs> then it was a real sucker punch. He, he acted... He used his fucking power of acting to his advantage and smacked the shit out of somebody, bro. Like a ninja. Didn't see it coming. Dang. But like that, I would have seen it coming. I would have, hey, back back the fuck up. No, he didn't hey. cock back or anything. It was literally just a straight like. Dude, a and smack, he had his thing up A smack that hard, you don't, I swear, you don't just go. Uh. You literally fall back with a smack like that. Hard. That was, Dude, he was. But. No, let me look at it. Full motion smack. I think it came from 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 the hip. Not, not behind the hip type shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, to the shoulder belly. I think it was just hip, so. I, ooh, maybe he smacked like, uh, kind of like. Like a push slap? Yeah, no, no, like a, like a hit rather than a. Like a. Uh, you know, hard, yeah. just like all the way down. It was more like a bump, transfer force, fucking uh, Newton's law of motion. I feel like if you're going to sl- slap someone, I don't care how, how much melanin you got, there got to be like a handprint. What if he had backhanded him? Just us. Then you'll see in every picture, bro, his just fingerprint. Just, there was no that's good what I wanted pictures, to see. bro. What the fuck? They need us on I, there. I want, bro, I would have gotten the full. Hey, Oscars, if like, you need Every single like shooters. cheek muscle going bleh, 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 bleh afterwards. But no, we got one frame of him going with his hand over here. And literally, it didn't even look like he was like getting hit. It was just like, ooh. I mean, in terms of angles type style. No one even freaking knew that was gonna happen. Unless if it was, if there is that many angles, I would, I would be like, all right, this shit scripted. But literally, no one knew that shit was gonna happen. I would have had more angles regardless. It's the fucking Oscars. True. Maybe they had more angles on some other shit. Photographers that were there, maybe. 
don't know. I think it's all going to come up soon. I mean, right, it's, it's pretty early. Some people are going to try and sell it. I mean, those pictures are probably worth millions. For how long, though? For world. like a week? When do you think all this is going to blow over? It's really up to the media now. Yeah. Because I haven't heard anything about freaking war in a minute. Bro, everything is a trend now. What the hell? Yeah. Not to say uh, Russia. No, I. that's not what I meant. I'm going to cut that part out. <laughs> Why are you going to cut that part out? That's the truth, bro. Everything's a fucking trend and they keep doing that shit to us, man. But it's like, it's serious topics that people are doing, dude. It's like, they're making like, for example, Russia and Ukraine. Big topic. And people are just like, oh, look, there's a war. And I made a, we made jokes. We made it, jokes like. on it. And yes, and maybe some of them were fucked up. But again, they're jokes. Like literally in the past like eight episodes that we've done, we could have gotten canceled every single episode for a little joke. And we that people know that we don't mean any harm. People know that we're not out here trying to fucking hurt people or make fun of people. It's just a joke. Right. Something to laugh at real quick and then we just move on with everyone's lives. You know, just done. Joke mm-hmm. ended there. So that the joke ended. What joke? Oh, the the oh yeah, the joke did end. The joke ended. The key, literally, he could have yeah. literally moved on, and everybody would have just gone on to the next joke, forgotten about Jada. The nah, the joke ended. He literally said, "Wait, nah, let me go slap this guy." Exactly. I feel like it could have ended so much sooner. Everyone would have just everyone would have just moved past it. Maybe I'm close to agreeing with you on this one, bro. Like you almost you. Yeah, Actually I'm telling you, me, bro. it's just that whole narrative of violence is never the answer. It fits in all the time. Ukraine and Russia. Violence is not the answer. For what? Speak about it. Talk to each other. And who's in the wrong? Vladimir Putin, because he's being a little bitch. I was about to say Chris Rock, but I guess Vladimir Putin. Yeah. I, 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 he just wants to attack and violence is not the answer. Hey, as long as y'all keep Khabib and Islam Makachev safe. <laughs> oh, no, no. We fuck with Russia, just not Putin right now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no. What do, what do the Russian civilians have to do with this? They're cool. I Khabib? Know. I just Smith. heard war. Huh? I said, I don't know. I just heard war. I thought, <laughs> what is it good for? Absolutely. The song! War. <laughs> Yeah. What, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. War. Huh. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Man, that should be the freaking um title. What? No, it has to Violence be. Violence is never the answer. Violence is never the answer. Not war. That would be huh. stupid. War, <laughs> war. What is it good for? That's the title, <laughs> and, <then you're> just, <laughs> and we're just talking about freaking <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. Shit. Oh, what the fuck happened? What did you do? I accidentally messed up my lighter, bro. <laughs> like, cause now I'm gonna get mad. Yeah. Cause what happened is like I was like picking at it. And now it's like picked to the point, like it's like a, it's like it's a, a rapper, a loose hangnail. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that's how, that's how I see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you just gotta rip it off, no matter how. Painful What's in the front? Is. Let's flick and chill. Let's flick and chill. Cool. Yeah. I've got a girl in mind. Her name is Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Oh fuck! That's just Mary Jane or good. Gwen. Mary Jane or Gwen? Or, um... Don't say Aunt May. No, 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 no. Okay. What's the name of the other girl? Who does Zendaya play? What's her name again? I honestly forgot. MJ. It's her name? Yeah, MJ, but it's not Mary Jane. Mm. You know who I'll go for? Mm. The very first Aunt May. A, 18 to 80, man. <laughs> <laughs> you said 18 to 80? <laughs> 18 to 80. You know she's still alive. She's doing Swear. good. Let me hit her up. You know her Instagram? This is not what it means. <laughs> I just wanted to inform you that she was alive. <laughs> this dude, I don't think she has an Instagram, dog. She got to see. I got to get in touch. Her PR does. What's a PR? 
I forgot what PR stands for. I'm I'm forgetting what. What PR do they do at least? Like, um, they make sure that you don't say some stupid shit or post some stupid shit. Oh, okay. Um, PR, PR team, PR, PR, uh, personal, personal rating. That's what I was thinking right now too, I but I don't think rating, so. Nah. What does PR stand for? What the I heck? No, I'm still looking at Aunt May. Okay, you look history. at Aunt May's thing. I'll look what PR means because I feel like, what does PR mean? A PR is a public relations. Public relations is the practice of managing and dismantling information from an individual or organization to the public in order to affect their public perception. I'm going to need a PR team because I'd be saying some stupid shit all the damn time. Dude, you say, I you need a PR team? Yeah, I need a PR team, bro. <laughs> Whatever you said, I feel like my shit was 50, 100, 2,000 times worse, maybe. It's, I don't know. Even here, dude, like... We could say so much stuff and someone somewhere for some reason will get offended by it. Man. And we, regardless, I'm going to have no filter. So exactly. Chris Rock had no filter. And he got slapped for it. So you think it'd be okay? I would get slapped for it too. I'm not saying that I don't deserve to get slapped, but I have it coming towards me. So I'm going to weep. No, actually I'll curl up like fucking that's first instinct. But yeah, I feel he deserved to get slapped. I don't. And that's where we are different. Because violence is not the answer. But that's why it's good. Yeah, this is going to teach a lot of people different things, though. So what? This is going to teach a lot of people different things. Yeah. Celebrities are going to learn the entire... But what if people learn for the worst? What if people start thinking it's okay to slap people now? People just be smacking each other now in the streets. Fuck you! I'd rather that than them shoot each other. Smacking is the end to gun violence? Is that what you're saying? It should be. Hey, <laughs> it fucking should be, bro. What the fuck? It fucking that'd be, should be. That'd be crazy. Hey. The UK is... It's getting into a fucking smack war. It's like, rather than you hear... Bah, 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 you hear Everywhere you go? <laughs> so drive by smacking, bro. Like, did you imagine... I actually did that before. You did got out of a car and smacked the shit out of somebody... I think his mom was Bro, there too, someone needs to make it. Someone make an editor that Will Smith gets out of the car, smacks the shit out of Chris Rock, and gets back in the car and dips. I did do that. A drive-by smack. Yeah, bro. It was freshman year. Because <laughs> that's basically what he did. He walked up, smacked, and dipped. Hey, I'm not going to lie. That was- Damn, bro. Imagine if freaking Chris Rock gets to get it. Or what? Or what? What are you going to do? What? What? Oh, that would be would the smack Would the smack be justified then? What? If he instigated it? No, no, after the smack. Oh, okay. So like he smacked and went back down and then Will Smith was like screaming, keep your, keep my wife's name out my, I can't fucking say it. Yeah. Keep my wife's name out your motherfucking mouth. I, th- I don't think he said motherfucker. I think he just said fucking. And it was like a firm, like PH. Oh yeah. With the PH, yeah. <laughs> keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, what? If, but yeah, what if he went down, right? What if he walked back down the stage and said that, and Chris Rock went, or what? Looking dead in the eye, what? I feel like it would have been so much better of an Oscar. Then it would have been a good headline story. Man, they would have made a couple movies out of that shit. I don't know why. But like, uh, the headline is fucking Chris Rock got bitched. You know, I don't want that. Chris Rock and Will Smith got in a fight after. That would have been so much better. But this is a story that could have been skipped. I like this one. I didn't. It was two of my like favorite actors going against each other. Chris Rock is your favorite actor? Bro, Chris Rock was Marty. I loved Madagascar. I don't know about him as an actor. But I love freaking Chris Rock as Marty. <laughs> His voice is just, you know, you know it's Chris Rock once you hear his fucking voice. His voice came out hella when he was like, okay, I'm going to. <laughs> okay, I'm no, going no, to. No, he definitely got bitch, bro. Like... He didn't even have no bass in his voice after. He was like, he was like, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Fine. Just don't hit me again. I swear. That's he got bitched, bro. No, because he knew that he didn't want to cause violence, because violence isn't the answer. I'll say it over and over again. Violence ain't the answer, true. But also, making fun of someone is a disease is not funny either. It isn't funny. Skip those know. jokes. Unless you're going to get smacked, I guess. But I don't think 
if you say a bad joke or cross the line on a joke, you should get smacked by it. It's at the end of the day, it was a joke. And I know jokes go too far, but I don't think this one had gone too far yet. If he had continued with it after they had told him to stop and stop and stop, he literally said, "Hey, stop!" Oh mm-hmm. shit, my bad. I I didn't mean to offend you. That was my bad. I I take it back. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry you got offended. Chris Rock isn't some asshole. You know that. Yeah, he's not. Well, I hope. Actually, I actually, wait. What happened? I've heard stories that Chris Rock actually is an asshole. So he deserved to get slapped. I've heard, I've heard stories that he's he's the guy in the bar who's like, ah, I think it was Chris Rock. But he like goes in there. He's like, I'm fucking Chris Rock, bitch. And that's why he got slapped. If that's the case, bro. If that's the case, then yeah, he deserved to get smacked because he was just being an asshole. But I don't think he was being an asshole here. I think he was just saying his jokes. And that joke just didn't come off right. It was like a fucking souffle. He crashed. Man. He crashed. He, he overcooked it. it. He overdid it, man. Yeah. Who said that quote? I fucking forgot. But if, if you're he, an asshole, you're an asshole. And that asshole got fucking slapped, bro. But was he being an asshole there? Yeah, you think you think his intention was I'm gonna be an asshole to her. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, I hope she gets fucking offended by this. If an asshole has an like, if it yeah, he was an asshole, bro. Yeah, I think what he said was something that an asshole would say, but I don't think he himself was trying to come off as an asshole in that situation. I feel like it was just ill choice of words. Definitely ill choice of words. Definitely ill choice of once, words. Once again, bro, that's someone's like. Like yeah, I can, and I can, I can see why Jaden Smith would even be mad too. He's his mom. I'd be mad right. if someone said shit to my mom. That's fam. But I'd be like, yeah, I get it. It's a joke. I feel like, it, again, it's because it hasn't happened to me, and it's not my mom in the situation. So exactly, I don't really know. But I know that if someone were to say something about my mom, I say, hey, don't joke about my mom like that, bro. There's oh, a- okay, man. All right, my bad. That's usually what it's like. It's happened before. Hey, don't be saying that shit. All right, bro. I'm sorry. My bad. You know, there have been times I had to fight for mine type shit. Had to fight for yours. Yeah, because they'll be out of line and say some disrespectful shit, bro. So you go straight to violence? Not all the time, but when it's needed. like When it's needed. I don't think it was, was needed, needed bro. He needed to get his shit slapped, bro. He hasn't been, I feel like Chris I think Rock it was miscommunication. Sla- miscommunication, yeah. I feel like he hasn't been slapped in a long time, and that was Because, yeah, I don't think he's call. had the need to get smacked. <laughs> You just said that he's been an asshole. That's what I think I heard on TikTok, but I don't fucking know. Some uh, It was from this guy. It, he was a bar. He works at a bar. Okay. He's like, I've had a lot of celebrities come in here, this and that. I've had Chris Rock, and I'm going to tell you all about how each one came win. Like, mm. how what I thought about each one of them. And he said the whole list. And I think Chris Rock, I think he said he was an asshole. But I don't know. Like, so I can't, don't call me on that one. I don't know for sure. But I think it was him. Going off on that. I believe that all assholes do are to get slapped, especially when you make fun of someone. Bullying is not nice. I don't think he was trying to bully her. I don't think he was trying to like, I'm gonna fucking hurt her tonight, bro. She's going to cry to no, she was just like he just said a joke and he was like, What? Oh um, dude, there's so many other people though. Why you gotta target the person who's because she's right there? Losing it took losing Will Smith three seconds to get on stage. Literally, all of this, all the celebrities are right there in front of him, dog. She was right there. Will Smith came in, front and center. Who are you? Who else are you gonna pick on? Shit. The other side. I'm not even being stubborn on this one. I'll. I don't always look down to the center because that's just like, I'm afraid of freaking eye contact. So. Because he had he had just picked on somebody from that way. Surveying the room. He picked on somebody over there. Where's he going next? Where's he going next? Wait, he was picking on people? Yeah, literally. He had I just had a joke about a couple, it. like, right before them. If you, see the, if you see the full clip, I, and I played the full clip for you guys before. He had just made a joke about somebody else, and they laughed it off. And even if, it, like, even if they're like, this motherfucker, you know? And right. you can be like that, you bitch. You know, you can get mad about a joke. I get it. But come on, bro. I don't know. In that case, no one's going to be joking around anymore. You don't ever have those times where, like, you feel like you should have did something and then you're just in the fucking shower like, damn, I should have. 
should have slapped the shit out of that dude. Yeah, exactly. Like they could have, he should have done something differently, but I still don't think the the smacking was worth it. He should have done something. And if he, he if he had done nothing, that's a whole different story because he didn't do shit. But if he had, hey, I'm telling you, verbal communication, stop. It's simple as that. Hmm. I'm not. It's it's the same thing as uh, I don't know. If one of my siblings did something really, really bad, I'm not going to go and hit them. I'm going to tell them, what did you do? Why did you do that? Communicate. I think that's where, where, where the difference comes in. So right? that's why he's a squabble master because this was out here fighting everybody. If you want to <laughs> squabble him, subscribe to his nah, YouTube nah, channel. Don't, don't, don't freak out. <laughs> he's so, he'll take on it, any of y'all any day. Any time of the week. It doesn't matter, bro. He'll show, you, he'll show your ass to the shadow realm. That's what I do. Not in real life, though. But I think that's where we're going to end it up today. If you guys happen to find this interesting, make sure to like, comment down below what you guys think. Hey, man. Will, my heart goes out to you, man. You're going to get fucking through this, man. Hey. You're going to get through this. I promise you. <laughs> Will, I love you, dog. Maybe communicate next time. I know sometimes you get caught in the moment. Adrenaline's rushing your anger. I get it. It's happened to me too. But communicate. Breathe. Stop. You know, literally, Chris. I'm sorry you got bitched, bro, but it happened. Nah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you moved past it, like, like nothing. But Chris, don't ever get bitched like that again. Bro. Chris, no, for real, Chris. If defend I ever yourself, see dog. a Madagascar show, bro, I'm not watching it just because you got bitched, bro. Like, I, I Marty used to be my favorite character, but now, bro, I know you're that friends Marty's with a the fucking lion. Marty, like, come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys happen to enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. Everything will be down below. My tags will be down below. My boy Okeke will be down below. Copy your merch. If you guys are listening to Spotify and Apple Podcasts, come over to the YouTube video. Much more interesting over here. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. See ya. Au revoir. Oh, there's going to be two videos. So we'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah. Friday. Saturday? Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. April 2nd. April 2nd, the next video is going to come out. It's going to be that... One year anniversary of the Kipa podcast. So make sure to turn on that. Woo. Close. See. See ya.